In this video, we are going to learn about PHP arrays. And arrays are very cool because they allow us to assign multiple values into an array and store that in a variable. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. And let's start off by creating a variable called groceries. And then I'm going to store three items inside of an array. And we do this inside of parentheses. I'm going to say that I want to store the items milk and comma separated, eggs and cheese. So this is a basic array. We have created the variable groceries and stored an array of three items inside that variable. So next, let's use our good old echo command and echo out our groceries. So if I go here and I reload, you're going to see that we actually get an error because we cannot echo an array. We can only echo out a specific index of our array. So let's say that I want to echo out the index of one. If I save that and reload, you can see that we get eggs. And you might have thought that we were going to get milk, but milk is actually at offset zero. So arrays do start off at zero instead of one. You'll want to make sure that you hammer that down because uh, this will get you a bunch of times if you don't remember that arrays start off at zero and not one. So if I were to save that and reload, you can see now that we get the value of milk. So I could then do that for offset two and we get the value of cheese. So if you really do need to print out your array, you can use a function called print r, and this will print in a readable format your array. So if I save that and reload, you can see that offset zero, we have milk, one eggs, and two cheese. Then let's say that we wanted to maybe change a specific value on our list. We want to change milk to be juice. So I can do that by specifying that I want to change groceries at offset zero, and I want to give it a value of juice. So if I save this and reload, you can see that we have changed milk to juice. I could also then add this to the end of the array. If we reload that, then we get juice at the end of the array. So we can add new items to an array like this, or we could even use a PHP function called array push. And we push onto a specific array a value. So I'm going to say that the groceries array, I want to push the value of juice onto that array. So I do that and reload, we get the exact same output. And let's say later on, then we wanted to remove the juice item. I could say unset groceries at offset three. So if I do this and I reload, you can see that it removes juice from the list. Next, let's say that we want to count the number of items in our array. Well, we can do that by using the count function. And I will need to echo this. So if I echo the count of groceries, we get the value of three because we have three items in our list. So one more thing that I do want to mention is that you can write an array in multiple ways. There's this way, which is using the array keyword, or we can just use brackets. So if we were to wrap our array in brackets like this, we could then reload and you can see that we get the exact same output. So that is arrays in a nutshell. It allows us to assign multiple values to a variable. So they come in really handy as you start to build more and more PHP applications. I would definitely recommend playing around with arrays and kind of just having some fun with it. But that is it for this video. I will see you in the next. Hey, thanks for checking out this PHP Basics video series. Uh, I hope you follow me on Twitter, at T-N-Y-L-E-A. And if you're interested in moving on to the next video, go ahead and click right up here. And if you want to check out my latest course called SaaS Adventure, be sure to click right there, and it will teach you how to create your own profitable software as a service. But that's it for now. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.